Alright, I'm back again. Let's fucking finish this shit. Story three. We don't support or acknowledge anything. Oh no! Anyway... So young, I will bring light to Na Young's death, I swear! And I will make sure her spirit is able to leave this so spooky, in cursed. peace. Are we really playing as a different fucking character for every single goddamn chapter? The cops are really doing a shit fucking job of keeping people out of here. Like, who the fuck is her? Who, like, who the fuck is she? God damn it. I have no idea what the fuck is going on in this story. Uh, once you load in, make your way up to the fourth floor library. Once you reach the th oh, good. Once we reach the third floor, the guard is gonna spawn in. Yeah, okay, hi. Please. Can you, can you not do that? And then the guard spawns in... Where? You said once I reach the third floor, the night guard spawns in. Yeah, okay, stop. I don't care. Oh. Yeah, there they are. The layout is also really shitty. I was mildly annoyed with it in White Day 1, and I'm especially annoyed with it in White Day 2. Oh my god, I'm so scared! Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm back. Leave immediately. Yeah, hey, how's it going? Oh no! It's all spooky and fuzzy. Uh, read the note on the desk near the TV. This is, this is fucking awful. Jesus. What is happening? Oh, is it because spooky ghosts? The book is... In 3-7 can be found on the book rack on the top of the lockers. I thought the first one was okay. Not great. Not terrible. Its narrative was a little too vague. Uh, unless you like took your time and like read every single goddamn note but more importantly the janitors were really 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 fucking annoying to deal with um the boss fight in the dance studio really really fucking sucked 
The quick time events also sucked. The pool ghost also sucked. But it was a lot better than this shit. Okay. Gotta get a book here, huh? Is this it? World classic novels? But the, uh, the, the, the fucking pursuers in this game are even more fucking annoying. Uh, in 3-4. Apparently, like, White Day 1 got a balance patch to lower the game's difficulty because, ev like, I guess it was universally felt that... The pursuers were too fucking annoying. Uh, and even post balance patch, I, I feel it's pretty fucking annoying. Wander around the room until your screen flashes and the desk get rearranged. The book can be found on the floor immediately to the left. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was so scary. The same thing in 3-2, the book is found on top of the podium this time. And then... Come on, now I gotta go... Fucking Jesus Christ, now I gotta go all the way to 3-11 after I go to 3-2. From what I can tell, the sentiment online is that most of the White Day fans really dislike White Day 2. Uh, but also, there's, like, very little chatter online about White Day 2, so it's kind of... Seems like, like, barely anybody has played it, or cares. Like, even the wiki, the, the, the game's wiki is, like, pretty bare bones, from what I can tell. You are correct, Cursed. Uh, White Day, the version that I played, uh, the other night is a remake that was made in 2015. I think originally for mobile phones. And then it was ported to PC. Or something. Uh, the very, very first White Day came out on PC in 2001. And that was Korea only. There's an English patch for it. Maybe, maybe one day I'll go into that and see the differences. Uh, the book will be in the large green locker. Oh, God. I'm so scared. I don't know if that was intentional for me to be off map. Uh, now head back to the library and place all the books in their appropriate points, except for the fucking pursuer is up there, and there's only one staircase up there, and if I go up there now, he's going to bludgeon me to death. Uh, also, I guess pre-patch white day 2 on PC, pursuers could, like, practically see through walls? Yeah, they're, they're really annoying. A lot of, like, th there's some kind of creepy-ish moments in White Day 1. Whereas so far, most of the attempts at horror in White Day 2 uh, have come off as either annoying or unintentionally funny. I mean, you know, this ain't my first rodeo either. You know, I've gone through all the Clock Tower games. I've gone through Haunting Ground. Right? And, uh... Yeah. This shit's kind of rough.
I will probably go through all the Clock Tower games again soon. Especially because the remaster of the first one's finally coming out soonish, I think. And I kind of want to go through the SNES and PS1 versions again before the remaster comes out. Except for maybe Clock Tower 2. Oh, hi! Yeah, you're you're so creepy. You're adorable. That's what they claim. Man, this, this TV static shit is fucking awful. Okay, going from the rightmost shelf to the leftmost shelf. World Classic Novel goes on the shelf labeled 890. I can barely see a goddamn thing, dude. Now, do they mean right, like, is in here, or...? I'm gonna just assume so. Uh, world classic novels. Korean classic novels goes on the one labeled 190. Green short novels goes on seven sixty. I don't know, Gino, it's not on my list, but I own the game. I know of it. Green short novels. This is the list. Although that didn't get updated. Oh, well, hold on. I forgot to update this. Bonus games. Properties. Hey. Uh, cut. Breakthrough. Hex generator. Cut. In progress. Okay. There we go. World Short Novels goes on 1310. Grab the locked diary that spawns in. Spawns in where? I guess I didn't put this in here properly. God, this is just the worst, dude. There we go. Huh? This is the Yeah, I briefly played club? it a, a while ago. A few we years go ago. To the broadcasting club first? I was very much enjoying it. I just never got around to finishing it. Head to the hallway that connects the north, the, the new building to the main building and haul ass through it. Oh good, there's another chase coming up. But now we gotta fucking navigate our goddamn way downstairs. Because there's no goddamn 
thing here. Uh, if I could, I would, buddy. At least there's two routes on the third floor, so I can loop him. Unless he cuts me off first. He didn't. And I guess this was also an episodic game initially, and this is the quote unquote complete edition. Yeah, of course you somehow saw me from all the way up there. Yeah, all right. But also because each each episode we're playing as somebody else, I'm not really getting any real sense of narrative progression. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Oh, hi. What the fuck? That's a lot of hands. <laughs> Did you really need to do that really loud piercing scream? Oh, uh, go to the stairway and head down to the first floor. Oh. Then go to the far end of the hall to trigger an encounter. As soon as the cutscene ends, wait inside teacher room one at the far end of the table. You could loop around. Uh, oh, I think this is where the, the quote unquote chase sequence is going to happen. Whatever. Wait inside the uh, head to the far end. Wait inside teacher's room not one at the far end of the table, and you can loop around. Wait for the model to enter, then you need to loop it around the table so you can safely exit the room and go back to the school nurse's office. If the model gets too close, your character gets scared and will not be able to run. Oh, that's- that's fucking dumb! Oh, the monster gets close to you. You can't- you can't, uh, you can't, uh, you can't do anything. Yeah, okay. Sure. Also, these arbitrary blockades are really dumb because, again, this is taking place literally the day after the first game, and the school wasn't like this. Like, the fuck is. Did the ghosts, like, make an obstacle course or something? Come on, no. Okay. Just reading again. Uh, as soon as the cutscene ends, wait inside teacher's room one at the far end of the table that you can loop around, wait for the model to enter, then you need to loop it around the table. I'm assuming you mean this table? Because I can't do shit here. Uh, okay. Yeah, alright, yeah, sure. This game is kind of operating under evil within logic, where just shit is happening. For no real rhyme or reason.
Are you kidding? Come on. Come on! As soon as you're in the nurse's room, grab the herbicide off the floor and then immediately book it up to the second floor counselor's office. Use the herbicide on the route to cleanse the room. And wait for the model to step into the red circle to finish the encounter. Come on, pick it up. Oh my god. Uh... Second floor counselor room. What the fuck? It's not near me. Make sure you grab the note to the left of the doorway. No, okay. Head down to the principal's office, 8124. Another thing about White Day 1, Cursed, that annoys me is apparently some of the puzzles are RNG based. I just find that annoying. Like, like each playthrough it's a different solution or whatever like if you want to have that as an optional mode for replay value be my guest but like for like the core game I think that's dumb same with the game's hard hardest difficulty the game also like if wants you to like replay it to get like so many different endings but the game is kind of chunky so it's a lot of bullshit to deal with enter the room and crouch under the desk to find the old key Use it to open the box on the desk to require the earth tablet, as well as push the button underneath. Where's the button? Oh, the button's there. Feel free to watch all four monitors, but the one that progresses the story is the bottom right screen. That doesn't even look like any of the characters that I've already seen. I don't know who the fuck that is. Uh... Okay, hold on. Head back up to the second floor and go to the far end of the hallway to find the double doors now unlocked. At least the smelly old ghost is gone. Oh, hi. Yeah, it's... it's I, I like... You know, I don't mind it as an optional mode, but, like, if somebody's replaying a game and they just want to, like, kind of speed run through it or get to, like, the parts they like quicker, I like rewarding players for, like, memory. You know? Forcing them to, 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 to do the puzzle every single time with a different solution every single time is a bit much, in my opinion. 
Again, as an optional bonus mode, I think it'd be cool. Kind of like how I wish more horror games would bring back a uh, uh, puzzle difficulty. You know? Kind of like how Silent Hill did. Head back to the second floor, go to the far end of the double doors. Make a new save file before going near the door to the second floor broadcast room if you're aiming to go through all endings in one go. Sure! Why not? Okay, we have that's that's chapter one. We'll make it here. Fuck it. I'm not gonna probably go back and redo all these, because I don't want to fucking play this anymore, but still. Uh, head to the second floor broadcast room and you'll receive an ending choice. Did the game break? I think the game broke, chat. Puzzle difficulty? Yeah, Silent Hill. Silent Hill 2 and uh, Silent Hill 3. I don't think 4 did it. I'm pretty sure Downpour did it. And I think there's been a couple other games outside of Silent Hill that have done it. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but I'm, th I'm pretty sure that's that's the case. Oh, um, possibly? I don't know. I want to say yes. But I don't know off the top of my head. I mean, like, similarly, very few games have actually done official randomizers. Wait a minute, why did I fucking... When I was facing the other way, why the fuck did it turn me around? Whatever. Okay. So let's eavesdrop is just broken. If the other ending, uh, if the other thing doesn't do, then I guess this is the end of the White Day 2 playthrough. <laughs> For now, until there's a patch. That's real bad. How... How do you ship that? Try it once more. Nope. Nope. Yeah, it's, uh... It's complete. That, that option is completely busted. Guys. What the fuck? At least it boots up quick enough. Well, I'm getting sick of this intro already. Just take me to the main menu. Take me to the main menu. Come on now. All 
All right. We'll see if the other option is is viable. Otherwise, uh. Okay. Who are you? I'm a graduate here. And you? My name is Yu Jimin. I'm a freshman at this school. What were you doing here? Ah, I left something behind. Let's just pretend we didn't see each other. Since it's the same. She just clipped into the locker. Coming in school secretly. Uh, what's up with her? She, I... Who are you? What were you doing here? Ah, uh, I left something behind. Let's just pretend we didn't see each other. Yeah, she's clipping into the locker. Since it's the same for both of us. Come what the fuck? Jankier engine, dude. Holy shit. Okay, so I guess we're now on the revenge slash revenge incarnate paths because can't eavesdrop. Enter the recording studio, enter the booth, grab the diary key. Also, the game is relatively bright now because I cranked up the brightness to 10 because the game was too fucking dark. Oh no! The ghost's arm is, was clipping into the microphone. It looked like. Let's go uh. to the homeroom mentioned in the diary. There might be a clue. You need all five diaries for Revenge Incarnate. Okay. God damn. I'm not reading this shit. Oh, uh, go down the first floor and enter the main hallway. Enter 2-2 two, two to start the next encounter. Oh god, there's another there's another fucking chase sequence. That's yeah, okay, great. Uh you need to make your way through the various rooms, bobbing and weaving into them to avoid patrols from attacking you. When you find a room with a ghost girl holding a voodoo doll, have your camera ready to take a picture of her. The timing can be a bit strict with some of the rooms. What? Once you photographed her three times, the camera okay. How do I... What's the camera option again? R2. Or is it R1? R2. Diga o que mais eu Oh. Diga o que Okay. Uh, I don't think I photographed her. Oh, this is dumb. Can I pick that up, please? Yeah. 
Yeah, the ghosts are donkey punching me. Also, for a game that has been dubbed, uh, it's a bit weird that now all of a sudden it's not dubbed. Oh, well, this encounter is dumb, but at least it's not as annoying as the previous ones. How do you... Do I have to tap R1 or something? Oh, X. Okay. Whatever. The ghosts have knives? Or something? Okay. Niku, how's it going, dude? <laughs> yeah, I guess this is a boss fight. to make you finally use the camera in case you like got through the entire game without using it which is what I did Okay, she's gone. She's dead. Uh, once she, she encounters over, head over to the first floor home economic room and grab the incense burner. If the encounter is over, why the fuck is he still here? Oh no, he just took a while to despawn. Okay. Hey, Niku, we got soft locked. One of the routes just wouldn't work. So, I'm railroaded into a, a different, different route. Yeah, every single time I selected the, the choice, which I guess would have affected the ending. Game's just like, nope. We're not going forward. And I, the only way around it was to just close out the game. around Soyoung. My name is Yu Jimin. I don't know why you're here, but it'd be best if you hurry up and leave. Is this the nerdy girl from the first game? I don't know why so many people come into school at night. People? I met some girl at the broadcasting club a while ago. She said she was a graduate of Yondu High. Was it... Sayuri? Who are these people? Well, I'd better get going. Okay, goodbye! Head over to the first floor and grab the incense burner off one of the shelves. Oh, this is a room we were never allowed to go in in the first game. <sighs> Head back out and enter room 26 and place the incense burner on the center table. Bruh. Bruh. Oh, God. Can you stop doing that? I don't care. I was going in there anyway. You fucking assholes. Oh, my God. Photo studio key. Yay! Yay! 
Head up to the, okay, third floor photo studio. Studios over here. Oh, good. The night guard just spawned in. Bro, can I just please progress the game? Come on. This is an order! Yeah, I've heard this shit over and over again. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, you can't open the door there. Get fucked. This is easy. This is easy, Niku. There's no very easy this time. Guess the pursuers are even more annoying than they were in the first game. Also, so, some of the pursuers are ghosts, and, um, they can teleport through walls. Are you fucking kidding me? I can't loop it! Can I open the door from this side then, please? I really don't want to go down to the first floor and try to evade him. No, of course not. He runs like a donkey. I'm guessing this is supposed to be, like, my heartbeat or something, and that I'm gonna die because I've been running for too long. But it's like, what do you want from me, game? I mean, I could, I could just flash him with the camera, but I don't want to. Okay, where the fuck? Uh, photo studio key. Photo studio, be careful, my car spotted. Don't know. Enter the red room and grab the film off the board to the left. Can my heart rate calm down, please? Uh, as well as the film holder and photo paper. How to develop film. Upper and middle. Uh, upper middle and lower middle green lockers behind you. Okay. Oh god, the guard is nearby. Uh, we unfortunately don't have everything we need yet. Head up to the fourth floor and enter room 112. Oh good. We might get chased again. Oh for fuck's sake. I was joking.
It's fucking game, dude. Oh yeah, Niku. Uh, I also discovered that there's actually no dedicated hiding spots in this game. You know how, like, in White Day 1, you could, like, hide in the bathroom stall? Yeah, that doesn't really work in this game. At least not in Chapter 2, because the ghost just walked through it and saw me and, and beat me. Are you kidding me? I need to go to that fucking floor! Seru. I'm so tired of his radio chatter. At first, I kind of appreciated it because it was like it let me. Yeah, it works. It lets me know where he is. A bit easier because it's louder than the key jingle, but I'm so tired of hearing that dialogue. Uh, 112. Open the only locker you can. Very descriptive, thank you. Oh well, maybe this is it. Thief in the small auditorium, enter the small auditorium and grab the film developer from somewhere inside the room. Unfortunately, the spawn is random. Really? Oh, we got another cinematic. Oh no! Oh no! It's the mannequins. Niku, Niku, ni, ni, ni. Seru, baby. It's the mannequins. Seru, baby. Seru, 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 Seru. Seru was a Seru, Seru. Be careful, the mannequins are gonna come to life, don't get cornered. Oh, good! Oh, good, I love this. Oh, good! This is, this is not awful. And stupid. I love random spawns in a game where they're. Are you kidding me? Are you are you fucking deep dicking me, dude? Are you deep dicking my nuts, dude? Oh, good. The camera doesn't do shit here. Instead, we're just gonna get beaten to death. Fallen ain't fallen. Why did I spawn inside a door? It is. It is a uh, famous speedrunner, uh, Kingdom Hearts speedrunner, Seru. Where the fuck is it? I'll get cornered in here. Oh, good. Really? I can't drop down from there? Okay. Yeah, alright. Alright, game. <sighs> oh yeah, well, Niku, all I can say is, uh, whenever you do get around to doing White Day 2, uh, good luck, bud. This game is, uh... This game is kind of a hot mess. 
Where the fuck is the goddamn film? No, this is the third episode. I'm already in the third episode, dude. This is this is the finale. Get away from me. Where the fuck is it? This is not my first time in this room, no. We we had that that bloody mannequin bit at the end of episode one. But sure, let's repeat the mannequins. No, for real though, where the fuck is it? Guys? It's a fucking armada, dude. This is fucking conga line. It's a fucking dead end. No, for real though, where the fuck is it? There we- is that it? Fucking finally. Now I gotta wait for them all to fucking come up. Single file. I gotta hopefully fucking not get booty blasted by 17,000 goddamn mannequins. Oh good, there's still one more. Come on, what the fuck is this shit? You want like three mannequins? Okay. Maybe four or five. But that was like seven or eight of them, dude. God damn. Head back to the red room and pour a developer into the tray. I swear to God, if that night guard shows up. Also, why are there bloody footprints? What's going on? Huh? You pooping? Who's poop? It doesn't even look like blood. That looks like fucking red paint, dude. No! Oh. Oh, okay. See ya! Saru, baby, don't cry. Don't cry for me, Saru, baby. The truth is, um, something. I don't fucking know. What the... I ain't good at songwriting. If I was, I'd be a billionaire. Okay, poor fucking developer in the tray. Insert the film holder. What? Into the enlarger? Is this the enlarger? The fuck is the enlarger? Are you the enlarger? Yeah, you're the enlarger. Uh... Place the photo paper on the desk under the enlarger. Place it in the tray. Huh? It's the person from before. She yeah, bye, bye, bye. Is the broadcasting club is Hanna Young. This 
are these people? The library? I must have a look. This dub is awful. Wait, you, oh, okay. I mean, I appreciate not having to run all the way back here, but that's very bizarre that you just warp me here. Uh, anyways, Saru, baby. Saru, 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 Saru. All right, I'm going to be here, baby. I'll have to see in the VOD what song you're talking about, Sarah. Since I have no idea what was playing. Uh, okay, head up to the fourth floor reading room. Grab Mysterious Piece f 1. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's the other thing, too, Niku, with, with this game, is there's there's a lot less key... There are a lot less keys. So, and there's a lot more locked doors. So the route to progress through the school is much more annoying. Oh! Oh, it was... It was, it was, it was a near song. Okay, cool. Yeah. Good. Uh, I guess visually it looks all right. That's that's about it. Uh, and I guess if 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 that's what you want, um, the uh. It has a lot of replay value with endings and shit. Uh... Regenerating health makes things a little less annoying, I suppose. But also, like, less... Feels a bit dumbed down. I don't know. I don't... I, I'm not really digging this game. Fuck off! Uh... Serious piece one. Can you stop, like, taking control of my camera for this shit? Well, I mean, I guess this song is pretty. Oh my god. Serious piece two. Further along to trigger a guy drawing. But I, I, I really have no idea what the fuck is going on in this narrative. By the newspaper racks. Head back to the table just before the newspaper racks. Oh, here we go. I guess the puzzles could be alright if you're not using a guide and you're actually trying to figure stuff out on your own. I just want to get through it ASAP. Head to the second floor where the hall connects NB to F fucking Christ. So you want me to go all the way back to back to where I spawned in? Okay. Where is he? Oh, 
Oh. Oh, and the camera mechanic, I guess, is nice. I haven't really used it, but... Oh, fuck's sake, it's downstairs! God damn it. That was one thing I was bitching about with White Day 1. No real way to, um... Get pursuers off your nuts. Be oh, being able to save anywhere is also nice. And not having to use an item for it. For the second floor art studio. Okay. Path is going to split soon. You know, it's a shame too, because if I was able to actually select that other uh, route, the one that bugged out on me, uh, the game would be over in like 10 minutes, it looks like. So, Y'all are getting a bit more. Head to the second floor art studio and approach the painting in the middle of the room. Scroll down. Okay, well, I guess we have to make a choice here. Uh, I don't know this, uh, depending on which choice you made. At the broadcast studio, path for sacrifice and all or nothing splits here is one path for revenge and revenge. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna head to the second floor, which is closer. Oh, I didn't need to go through the hallway. I'm dumb. That was closer. I'm not heading to the gym. Fuck that. I guess I'm gonna go for the revenge path. Uh, art studio. Approach the painting in the middle of the room, and then scroll down to the basement section. This is. Oh no, the, this route is actually almost done too. It looks like. Oh, if it isn't Naya. Who even are you? Fourteen across Gina? all three chapters. Of course Gina. I do. I even know where he is right now. Four endings in this one. <laughs> the janitor threw him in the basement yesterday. Uh huh. I'm not sure if he's still alive. At least based on the uh the trophy list. <sighs> oh my god, I'm so scared. I don't know who any of these people are. Okay, follow the linear p path and then slot the earth tablet into the holder in front of you. Do you have an earth tablet? Oh. That is a really low quality model. This is a much high quality, much higher quality model. I 
I hope there's not gonna be another goddamn chase sequence. Well, I'm gonna be very upset. Oh my god! The fuck? The fuck is this evil tree doing here? Niku, did you plant this tree? Tree planter Niku. Oh wow, the, the, now it's. Are we finally getting some moles? Oh, is this a new, new pursuer? Oh, good. Yeah, it's okay. God damn it. Uh, follow the... Uh, head down to the newly opened path and locate the switchboard. Uh... Flip lever two and four to open the cells nearby and grab the fire tablet. Oh, no, that's one and three. Oh, okay. Exit back to the main entry room, slot the tablet into your right, new door. Uh, enter this room, locate the levers, flip 8, 5, and 6. Do that later. Some big ass insects. Main entrium, cut across to the other side and slot the plate in. Oh, hi. <laughs> ah! Hey, get away from me. Slot. Door to your right, go in. Levers four and three. Go back to the front door and spot another cell door open, which leads to another area. Oh, good. Five, seven, eight, wooden plate, leave.
Now. So who is this killer? Oh, I guess he's dead. Uh, sure. Uh, cut across the atrium, slot the plate to open the final hall to your right. Which... We did that here? Is this it? I guess so. Flip all four levers. Maybe he was introduced in another route? Ew. Did everybody else die or something? Wow, we don't even get credits! This... Game is dog shit! G-Men destroys the holy tree and leaves the school. Meanwhile, Yuri is tied up in the home economics classroom by Ji-Hyun who was possessed by Na Young, and the fire starts to spread just like the accident that killed Sung Ah. I don't know if there is a true end, Niku. Because from the way White Day is structured, White Day 2 is structured, it seems as if each chapter has multiple endings. I don't know if the endings of each chapter impact the next chapter or not because again the way it works is like you select new game and you select one of these one of these three it also looks as if there's like branching routes where when you you can make a certain decision in chapter one or chapter two which causes them to play out differently I don't know if there's a true ending or not. I don't think so, and I don't even see anything on the wiki. Just... I don't know. Uh, but this chapter, chapter three, has four different endings. Sacrifice, all for nothing, revenge, and revenge incarnate. But it looks like revenge and revenge incarnate have the same steps for the final section. Yes, yeah, this, this is this is this is kind of um kind of a pretty big disappointment honestly. But it's done. So
that's cool. I guess. Uh, I hope you have a lot more fun with it than I did, Niku. Whenever you do get back to it. Uh, I'm gonna call it here, actually. Because I gotta try to get some sleep. Um... For Elden Ring tomorrow. Fucking... Okay, uh... But at least that's done. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow morning with some Elden Ring. To finish that off. It's technically still back to goal. I might do an actual spooky thing after Elden Ring before the watch party tomorrow, but we'll see. Uh, of course, if I can't sleep, then maybe I'll be back super late tonight. I don't know. Anyways, y'all take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Be excellent to each other and all that fun shit. And I'll catch y'all next time. Goodbye.